Of the things that your governments and advisors have misled you about, I think most severely and honestly frightens me and is, is the catalyst for me making these recordings is the issue of virus variants and the following issue, the related issue of uh, top-up vaccines or variant vaccines. So let me just quickly explain. This is really, really critical to your very survival. It's quite normal for RNA viruses like SARS-CoV-2 when it replicates to make typographical errors. That's what it does, typos. Um, it's got a very good error detection, error correction system, so it doesn't make too many typos, but it does make some. And those are called variants. Um, but it's really important that you know that if you, if you find the variant that's most different from the sequence identified in Wuhan, uh, that that variant, the most distant, is only 0.3% different from the original sequence. So I'll say it another way. If you find the most different variant, it's 99.7% identical to the original one. And I can assure you, and I'm going to explain why I'm sure, that that amount of difference is absolutely not, not possibly, able to represent itself to you as a different virus. That's what people are leading you to think, that maybe variants will escape your immunity, either caused by a vaccine or by natural infection, and it's an absolute lie. So why do I know that? Well, 17 years ago, 18 years ago, there was a virus called SARS, uh, which is actually very similar to SARS-CoV-2. It's 80% similar to SARS-CoV-2. And there were some experiments done last year where they found people who had been infected by SARS 17 years earlier and asked them to donate blood, and they did. And there were tests done on the cells in that blood, and they wanted to know were the circulating immune cells still able to recognise SARS 17 years later, and they were. They all still had memory T cells circulating around their body. That's great. That's what I would have expected. They also did a really important experiment. They showed those same people's T cells, the new virus, SARS-CoV-2. And unsurprisingly to me, they recognised that new virus. And that's because the new virus is 80% similar to the old one, 20% different. So just to say again, a 20% difference was not enough to kid these people's immune system that it was a new virus. They easily recognised it as a sibling, a brother, a cousin of something they'd conquered already. So when your government scientists tell you that a variant that's 0.3% different from SARS could masquerade as a new virus and be a threat to your health, you should know, and I'm telling you, they are lying.